Explore, explore, we're all about it. Explore, 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 explore. God's word, don't doubt it. Explore, explore. We've got the Bible beat, so get on your feet. It's time to sing and praise. God's word is true, Jesus is there for you. It's time to sing and praise. Explore, explore, we're all about it. Explore, explore. Explore, explore, God's word, don't doubt it, explore, explore. The more we go, the more we grow, it's time to sing and praise. Jesus and you and your friends too, it's time to sing, it's time to sing and praise. Welcome back to Explore, everyone. It is so nice to be back together, whether you're watching online or you're right here in the building. I am so excited for today. And parents, if you're joining in with your kids today, we encourage you, come on, get involved with them, sing along, take part, and have some fun with us together. Now, if you're new and this is your first time watching or joining at Explore, a massive welcome to you. It is so nice to have you here. Now, we always start off explore with worship, that's right. But before we jump into worship, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you that we can worship you. Thank you that we can learn about you. And we pray, God, will you teach us more about you today, Father God? Will you let us know you more and will you draw us closer to you, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Over to you, worship team.
Yo, wasn't worship epic, guys? Well done to the worship team. Give them a hand. Ah, thanks, guys. Okay, so now, who remembers our memory verse we have been learning? If you know it, say it nice and loud with me. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save God's people. Ah, oh, what an epic verse. Well done for those of you who remember Keep practicing it so we can say it again together next week. We are still on our journey called Who's That Bible Character? Where every week we're learning about a new guy from the Bible. And do you want to take a guess who this week's Bible character is? Wait, let me give you a hint. He once saved Jesus' life just because he listened to what God told him to do in a dream. Any idea where that is? Why don't you take a guess? Ah, uh, well done. If you said Joseph, well then, you got it right. Now, Joseph was Jesus' earthly father. And God wanted Joseph to be Jesus' dad here on earth. And Joseph was such a good man. And we're going to learn all about his story right now as Sam comes and shares with us. Over to you, Sam. Hey guys, so today, like Chad said, we're talking about Joseph. But you need to ask, who is Joseph? Who's this guy? Joseph was a carpenter. He worked with wood way back when, when that was a common thing. Lots of people like to work with wood. But Joseph was special. God liked Joseph because Joseph was a good, good man. And he was going to be married to a beautiful woman named Mary. And I hope you understand, you know these two names because Joseph and Mary are very important people. Joseph was going to get married to Mary, but before that could happen, Mary said she was going to have a baby. And that was a big problem for Joseph because he couldn't have a baby with her until they were married. So he said, okay, okay, Mary, let's not get married, but let's do it quietly because I don't want to be hurtful to you. So he was trying to be a good man and do the best thing that he could do for her. But then, one night in a dream, an angel came to him and said, Joseph, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? You can't leave Mary. He said, go back to Mary and marry her. And you know what Joseph did? This crazy ask that this angel said, I would have, I would have said, no way, that's crazy. I can't do that. But Joseph was a good man, and he went back to Mary, and he married her. And then a little while later, they did in the land what's known as a census. But that's a silly word. All that matters is they were going to go and count all the people that lived in the land because they wanted to know how many people lived there. But what that meant is that Joseph and Mary had to go walk all the way home to his hometown, which was Bethlehem. So they got up and they went there. They struggled to find some houses. They looked everywhere and they had a hard time, but eventually they managed to find a place. And that's where Jesus was born. But then there was an evil king who lived around there and he was looking for Jesus because he knew that he was coming and that was a problem for him and he wanted to get rid of Jesus. But that can't happen. It's Jesus. We love Jesus. We don't want him to die. So what happened is a second time Joseph went to sleep and an angel came to him and he said, listen, Joseph, this guy is coming to kill Jesus and that can't happen. So you've got to get up, take Mary, Take Jesus, and you guys have got to get out of here into Egypt. But guys, that's ridiculous. Egypt is a desert. It's hot and sandy, and that sucks. But you know what? Joseph was a good man. And again, he listened to the angel. He obeyed. He got up in the night, and he ran away with them. And you know what? He saved Jesus' life in doing that. And that's an important thing. Because what did Joseph do? He listened when God spoke to him. It didn't matter what it meant. Even if it sucked, he listened to what God was telling him. And that's the big idea today. Joseph was a good man because he listened when God was telling him what to do. So think about it in your life. What are you going to do if you go to school one day and there's someone there sitting alone and they don't look like they have anyone to be friends with? If God tells you, hey, go over to them and make friends with them. You might think, oh, but God, I don't want to do that. They're a little bit weird. They're kind of pick their nose sometimes. But if God told you to do it, you should listen to him because he's God and he knows what's best. And you know what? He might just make a best friend for you. So the big idea today, 
is that when God tells us to do something, we should listen to him and obey him, just like Joseph did, because we don't know how important that could be. Thanks, guys. Yo, what I love about the story of Joseph that Sam just shared was, was Joseph never ever waited when God spoke. He never made excuses not to do what God told him. He got up and he did it straight away. And I think that's what I've learned. I think that's what we can learn today from what Sam just told us. Is when God tells us to do something, let's do it straight away with no excuses. Remember when God spoke to Joseph in the dream and he got up straight away at night. Imagine if he waited till morning. Imagine then the king came. Imagine what could have happened. But instead, because he listened straight away, he saved Jesus. Oh, what an amazing story. Thank you, Sam. Thank you for sharing with us today. So now, kids, you know what's next? It is craft time. Enjoy. Hi boys and girls, great to be back with you again. So we're learning about Joseph, and Joseph was Jesus' dad, okay, and he was a carpenter. So today we're going to make a hammer. All right, you're going to be given this by your class teacher for the day, and what you're going to need for this craft is a pair of scissors, some glue, and some crayons or pencils. All right, okay, so let's get started. Okay, you've got your paper. You're going to need to cut it out. So get someone to help you if you can't cut. But I'm sure most of you can cut this out by now. Right, so I'm going to get to it. Okay, once you've got your three pieces cut out, then you're going to stick this piece onto the handle. And this says, Joseph, listen to God. Okay, right, so you're going to take your glue and you're going to stick it onto your handle and then you're going to take the top of the hammer and you're going to stick it on there so it makes like that. Okay. So... Oh wait, <laughs> before we stick it guys we actually need to colour it in. So get your crayons and you can colour it nicely. You can do any pattern or design that you'd like. Right, so once you've finished colouring in all three pieces, then you can stick them together with your glue. You can stick this word on the back of your hammer like that if you want, or you can stick it on the front. Right, and you're welcome to colour both sides if you want to. Right, so I'm going to stick it on the front. And Joseph listened to God, and he took Mary to Bethlehem. Okay, and join your hammer. Alright, so there we go. Joseph listened to God and there's our hammer because he was a carpenter. Hope you enjoyed boys and girls. Have lots of fun. See you next time. Bye for now. Yo, well done Oz. Those crafts look epic. I can't wait to see them in person. So if you see any one of us around next when you come back, feel free to come and show us your crafts. I'd love to take a look at them. Have an amazing Sunday. Can't wait to see you back here same time next week. 